Okay, hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I realized after looking through some of my YouTube related YouTube videos that I don't have a video talking about how to edit your YouTube videos and I use iMovie which is probably the most basic editing software that you can use when you're getting started on YouTube, especially because it comes for free whenever you have, I keep pointing over here, you can't even see it, an iMac which has me on it because I'm currently editing this video. But if you have an Apple product like your phone, an iPad, a laptop, or an iMac desktop, all of those have iMovie for free. So I wanna share some tips with you guys, some things that I have learned along the way and kind of how I edit my YouTube videos using iMovie. Now I do not get that technical, but if you are curious about how I create some of the overlays or the sound effects or even how I design my graphics that I put into my videos, I'm gonna show you all that in this video today. So if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and let's get to editing. I started editing this video this morning and I'm about eight minutes through the content that I have recorded here and as you can see there are a lot a lot of clips that we have got going on so far but I am right here so the last few clips we've got a two minute clip a three minute clip and then another two minute clip here at the end so those are the ones that I really have to get through right now to make sure that I like the flow of my video. So the way that I like to edit my videos the first thing that I do I cut out all of the breaks or where I miss say something or where I'm breathing or where I'm just thinking, I will cut them out until I have like the flow and I like what I am saying the whole way through the video. So kind of the script of the video, that's my first editing process. So right now I'm just gonna be doing a lot of split clips and I wanna show you guys exactly how to do that. So it's honestly really, really easy with iMovie. So I can already tell right over here, this basically just expands your clips a little bit so you can see them more in detail. And what I like to do with this is if I scroll over a little bit, I can can tell that this right here is a break where I'm breathing and I don't want to have that in my video so I'm going to right click click on split clip and what that's going to do it's going to create a break and then I can slide this over to where it's done and then it flows a little bit nicer and that's what I enjoy in my video so I actually like to have it on this notch right there and then I will look through so this is a big break I'm just gonna split clip drag it over and then I like that better. So let me get through the last eight minutes of this video right now, splitting it up, deciding where I like things, and then I'll show you guys the next step in my process. So now that I've got my video broken down and I actually like the length of it as well as the flow of it, it's about 11 minutes and 53 seconds right now. It's probably gonna end up being a little bit longer because I'm gonna add some other clips and scenes in the middle. But before I add those clips, I wanna color correct these videos because it's going to be a lot easier if I do it right now. And I wanna show you how I do that. So in this video, there's several different scenes. So it starts out where I'm sitting here and then we're gonna jump in wherever here and you can already see the color difference in those two. And then I know when I switch and I go over to this area, the color difference is so dramatic. So we have to color correct to make it all flow nicely. So I'm gonna start with the first section. And what I'm gonna do right up top here, this painter's palette like thing, you can go ahead and click on that. And this is going to change the light. So this is gonna bring down the darks, which I do not wanna do that. This is gonna bring up the whites or the highlights. And then this is going to drop the middle tone for your video. So I'm gonna end up lightening this a little bit. Let me bring it up because I don't want the background to be too dark. So now that I've got this one clip right here color corrected, I'm going to right click, click copy, and then I'm going to highlight all of the videos that were taken in this one scene. Right up top here, if you go to edit, paste adjustments, color correction, it is going to adjust all of these to match that one video. So it makes it really, really easy. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing with all of the other videos that I have right here. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will. Now it's time to add all of the fun stuff. So I try pretty hard to make my videos as interesting as possible to keep my viewers watching my videos for longer. If you guys haven't heard about audience retention and your audience retention rate, that is really, really important to the success of your YouTube channel, to the success of your videos. You wanna keep people watching your video for as long as possible. So if I left my video like this, honestly it would probably be a good video still because it's very informative but I want to add the other fun stuff to make it a bit more informative as well as just 
kind of drive this video home in interest level. So I am gonna start watching through this video and as I come up with the things that I wanna do, I'm gonna share with you guys exactly what I am doing. So whenever I mention another YouTube video in my YouTube videos, I like to either share the thumbnail on the screen or I will do a screen recording of that video in YouTube. So I will actually go on YouTube and I will do a screen recording of my own video or I will pull the footage from that video and add it to the video. So for this specific spot, I am going to end up going to YouTube and I'm going to do a screen recording of that other video that I shot. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, now I'm going to crop this in because I do not like how wide it is. I mean, it's gonna end up being very, very small, especially if someone watches it on their phone. So up top here, this crop icon, I'm gonna go to crop to fill, and then I am going to draw in however much I want it. So I'm not sure if I want it really up close. Okay, I think I want it cropped in a little bit more. A few months back when I got monetized on YouTube, I launched a YouTube video talking about getting monetized on YouTube and the whole process. Okay, so I found another screen recording that I wanted to add as an overlay over the video. And unlike the other YouTube clip that I just did that took up the whole screen, I don't want this to take up the whole screen. I mean, that's very, very ugly. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this. If I click on this, icon right here, it's two boxes. Right now it says cutaway. I'm actually gonna do picture in picture. And what that's gonna allow you to do is overlay this within the current image that is below it. Okay, and then one thing that I like to do when I do these small overlays, I will have a popping sound showing that, or kind of telling you guys that something popped on the screen in case you're listening to the YouTube video. So it's actually the bottle cork sound right here within iMovie. I'm just gonna drag that over here and I'm gonna drop this down to 40% and that's how I like it. And now it looks like this. And there's actually five requirements that you have to meet in order to be monetized on YouTube. It is actually much later, but I just wrapped up adding all of the screen recordings and screen captures that I wanted to add within the video. And now the only thing that I have left to do in terms of the overlays and stuff that I'm going to do to make my video as interesting as possible, I have to create those graphics that have text over them. So in this video, it's specifically talking about YouTube monetization, explaining the whole entire process. So there's a few titles that I wanna add, like the review process, AdSense, frequently asked questions, and there's just a few slides slides that I want to add in there. So I'm going to create those using Canva. You guys know I love Canva so much. And then I actually use my thumbnail template for this. I have got, scroll down a little bit. I've got a specific slide. So I use that slide as well as this slide. So I know one of them is frequently asked questions. So that is what this slide is going to be. I'm just gonna download it and then overlay it like I did my other overlays that I already showed you guys. It's honestly so, so easy to do, but I'm telling you this touch I think makes my videos just a bit more interesting. Honestly, the goal here is to make my videos as interesting as possible. Now, I wanna answer some frequently asked questions in terms of YouTube monetization. At this point, my video is just about done, but I have to add some finishing touches that you guys might not even think about. So I already showed you how I add the sound effects to some of the pop-ups that I include, the ones that just appear over the screen. But when I have something take over the screen completely, I like to add a clicking sound effect. So that's the very first thing I'm going to do. And actually that sound effect is one that I created on my own. I recorded me clicking on my mouse and I've actually started to include this clicking sound at the beginning and then the end so you guys can clearly hear when this scene is changing. So if I am shooting this on October 12th, that means October 12th, 2018 to October 12th, 2019. Cute. Okay, love it. No, I just have to do that a million more times. Now it's time for my end screen. And honestly, guys, my end screen is the easiest thing in the world. So at the very end of my video, I'm going to click on backgrounds. We're going to go to black, drag it right here. And then we are going to drag this until it is 10 seconds long. I like to add my golf hit sound. Not my golf hit sound, but the golf hit sound when it's swiping through. So we're gonna do this again to 40%, perfect. And then I need to add sound. So I have a few songs downloaded from the YouTube Creator Studio that is free and it's not gonna get copyrighted. So I use that as my background music. Bye guys. 
that is going to be my end. So now I have to add background music to the rest of my video as well. And honestly, I like to have my background music so quiet that you can barely even hear it. You probably don't even hear it, but I like it to be there just as a little extra touch. So I will drag it to one or 2% when I want it to be background, background music. And then I want, if I want it to be a bit more powerful and kind of front and center, I will increase the sound of it, obviously. And when it comes to my video editing, that is honestly all that I do. It is very, very simple to do the effects that I do. And typically it's just a lot of overlays with some sound effects and that's it. So I think the best tip that I share with you is probably how I do my color correction and how you can copy and paste it across a lot of slides. So then they match up all the exact same and look beautiful. But other than that, that is it. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. Maybe you learned a new tip, a new trick when it comes to iMovie video editing. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see you guys back here soon. Bye guys. Why do I do that? <laughs>